Welcome back to Flicks from the Multiverse, literature, comics, movies, facts. It's great to see you all again. Today, we're embarking on a journey to the spice-filled sands of Arrakis with a detailed and thrilling review of one of the most anticipated sequels of the decade, Dune Part 2. Whether you're a fan of the original novel, the first movie, or just love epic sci-fi adventures, this one's for you. So buckle up, folks, because this ride is going to be as epic and exhilarating as a sandworm surfacing for a snack. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this exploration. All right, let's get this out of the way. Denis Villeneuve has done it again. Dune Part 2 is not just a sequel, it's a cinematic masterpiece that takes everything we loved about the first film and elevates it to new heights. With breathtaking visuals, a compelling storyline, and stellar performances from the entire cast, this movie is a true work of art. We're going to break it down for you, scene by scene, spice by spice, spice, diving into every intricate detail that makes this film a standout in the sci-fi genre. From the sweeping desert landscapes to the intense political intrigue and from the heart-pounding action sequences to the deeply emotional character arcs, there's so much to discuss and appreciate. First things first, the scale of this movie is massive. Imagine the Lord of the Rings, the two towers, but in space with more sand and fewer hobbits. The sheer scope of Dune Part 2 is mind-blowing. The world building is nothing short of phenomenal, seamlessly blending the intricate details of Frank Herbert's universe with the breathtaking cinematography that Denis Villeneuve is known for. Every scene is meticulously crafted to transport you to the harsh and beautiful desert planet of Arrakis, why? making you feel every grain of its sand between your toes. The vast deserts, towering rock formations, and sprawling cities are so vividly depicted that you can almost taste the spice in the air. Timothy Chalamet returns as Paul Atreides, and his journey from fugitive to messianic leader is nothing short of mesmerizing. Chalamet's portrayal of Paul is both commanding and vulnerable, but capturing the complexity of a young man burdened with the expectations of his lineage and the prophecy that surrounds him, his performance is layered B, making us question his destiny and the true cost of power at every turn. And let's not forget Zendaya as Chani, though she had limited screen time in the first film, she nearly steals the show in this sequel. Her fierce independence, unwavering loyalty to her people, and undeniable chemistry with Chalamet bring a new depth to the story. Zendaya as Chani is a warrior with a heart, adding a strong emotional core to the narrative. Her character's evolution and her pivotal role in Paul's journey are highlights that you won't want to miss. One thing I loved about this film is the sprinkle of humor amidst the tension. Amidst the epic battles and intense political drama, there are moments of levity that add a refreshing touch. For instance, there's a scene where Paul tries to adapt to Fremen culture and let's just say his attempts at fitting in are hilariously awkward. Whether it's his struggle to master the intricate Fremen customs or his clumsy attempts at mimicking their combat techniques, these moments of lightheartedness provide a perfect balance to the otherwise serious tone of the film. It's these little glimpses of humor that make the characters so relatable, reminding us that even in the midst of an epic saga, they, they are still human. Paul's journey is filled with growth and learning, and these humorous interludes not only endear him to the audience, but also highlight his transformation from an outsider to a true leader of the Fremen. Now let's talk about the visuals. Dune Part 2 is an absolute feast for the eyes, a true testament to the power of cinematic art. The cinematography by Greg Fraser is top-notch, surpassing even his Oscar-winning work on the first film. Every frame of the movie is meticulously crafted by creating a visual spectacle that immerses you completely in the universe of Arrakis, the use of color and light is stunning, serving not only to enhance the aesthetic appeal, but also to deepen the narrative. The harsh, dusky, sun-bleached landscapes of the Fremen territories contrast beautifully with the cold, shadowy environments of the Harkonnen strongholds. The warm, earthy tones of the desert scenes evoke a sense of both danger and beauty, while the darker, more muted colors of the Harkonnen scenes highlight their sinister presence. The visual differentiation between these worlds is masterfully done reinforcing the thematic dichotomy between the Fremen's symbiotic relationship with their environment and the Harkonnen's exploitative approach. Fraser's innovative use of lighting, from the blinding desert sun to the dim, foreboding interiors of the enemy fortresses, creates a vivid and dynamic visual narrative that keeps you enthralled from start to finish. The special effects and sound design in Dune Part 2 are more immersive than ever, pulling you into the heart of the action and the vastness of the universe with breathtaking precision. The visual effects seamlessly blend the real and the fantastical bait, making everything from the colossal sandworms to the intricate technology of the Fremen and Harkonnen feel tangible and authentic. The sound design complements this perfectly, with every whisper of the desert wind, the rumble of a distant sandworm, and the clash of blades enhancing the immersive experience. The fight choreography is another standout aspect of the film. It is intense and feels incredibly real, a stark contrast to the often poorly executed battles in other blockbusters. Each fight scene is meticulously choreographed, showcasing not only the physical prowess of the characters, but also the strategic and cultural significance of their combat styles. The visceral realism of the fights, combined with the stunning special effects, creates a series of action sequences that are both thrilling and emotionally charged. You can feel the weight 
and impact of every move, making each battle a pulse-pounding spectacle that keeps you on the edge of your seat. What struck me the most about Dune Part 2 is how it deepens the themes introduced in the first film, expanding on its rich narrative tapestry in profound ways. This sequel is not just about a hero's journey, it's about the heavy burden of leadership and the moral complexities that come with power. Denis Villeneuve masterfully balances the grand scale of the narrative with these intimate character moments, making the film both epic and deeply personal. In Dune Part 2, we see Paul Atreides grappling with the immense responsibilities that his newfound status brings. It's a compelling exploration of how power can be both a blessing and a curse. The film delves into the sacrifices and difficult choices that leadership demands, showing the toll it takes on Paul's psyche and relationships. These themes are conveyed through poignant dialogues and powerful performances, particularly by Timothy Chalamet, who captures Paul's inner conflict with subtlety and depth. Moreover, the film doesn't shy away from the darker aspects of Paul's journey. It questions the very nature of destiny and the price of achieving greatness. Villeneuve's direction ensures that even amid the sweeping landscapes and epic battles, the focus remains on the character's internal struggles. This duality makes Dune Part II a richly layered film that resonates on multiple levels, offering both spectacle and substance. It's a story about the search for identity and purpose in a world where the lines between good and evil are often blurred, making it an unforgettable cinematic experience. In my opinion, Dune Part II is a triumph in every sense of the word. It's a film that challenges and inspires much like the best of science fiction should. Denis Villeneuve has crafted a cinematic experience that goes beyond mere entertainment. It's a thought-provoking journey that delves into complex themes of power, destiny, and humanity. From the moment the film begins, you're drawn into a richly detailed world that feels both alien and familiar, a testament to the meticulous world-building and immersive storytelling. The impact of Dune Part II lingers long after the credits roll. It's more than just a movie, it's an experience that stays with you, provoking reflection and discussion. The film's intricate narrative, coupled with its stunning visuals and powerful performances, leaves a lasting impression. It challenges you to think about the consequences of leadership and the moral dilemmas that come with great power, all while delivering a visually spectacular and emotionally resonant story. For me, this film exemplifies what science fiction can achieve at its best. It uses fantastical elements to explore deep universal truths about our own world and ourselves. Dune Part 2 is a masterclass in filmmaking, a true epic that stands as a monumental achievement in the genre. Whether you're a longtime fan of Frank Herbert's work or new to the universe of Dune, this film is a must-see that promises to captivate and inspire. So, is Dune Part 2 worth your time? Absolutely, this film is a must-watch whether you're a die-hard fan of Frank Herbert's books or completely new to the world of Dune. The movie offers something for everyone, blending intricate storytelling with stunning visuals to create a cinematic journey that is both captivating and thought-provoking. For fans of the books, Dune Part 2 delivers a faithful and deeply satisfying continuation of the saga, bringing beloved characters and epic scenes to life with remarkable detail and fidelity. The complex plot, rich with political intrigue and profound philosophical questions, is handled with care and precision, making it accessible yet rewarding for those familiar with the source material. For newcomers, the film serves as an enthralling introduction to the expansive universe of Dune. Its breathtaking visuals, from the vast deserts of Arrakis to the intricate designs of the Fremen and Harkonnen, draw you in and make the alien world feel incredibly real. The story is engaging and immersive, filled with action, drama, and moments of unexpected humor that provide a perfect balance. In essence, Dude Part 2 is a cinematic experience you don't want to miss. It's a rare sequel that not only lives up to the original but surpasses it in many ways, offering a rich and layered narrative that stays with you long after you leave the theater. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and prepare to be transported to a world of wonder and excitement that will leave you eagerly awaiting the next installment. I'd rate Dune Part 2 a solid 10 slash 10. It's a masterpiece of modern filmmaking that cements Denis Villeneuve's place as one of the great directors of our time. From the moment the film starts, you are transported to the awe-inspiring and meticulously crafted world of Dune, where every detail is designed to immerse you fully in the narrative. Villeneuve's direction is nothing short of brilliant, bringing together a stellar cast, breathtaking visuals, and a compelling storyline that honors the legacy of Frank Herbert's original work while expanding it in exciting and meaningful ways. The film's seamless blend of intense action, deep emotional beats, and thought-provoking themes makes it an unforgettable cinematic experience. Don't just take my word for it, go see it on the biggest screen possible. The grandeur of Dune Part 2 deserves to be experienced in a theater where the stunning cinematography, powerful sound design, and epic scale can truly be appreciated. Immerse yourself in the world of Dune and let the story of Paul Atreides and the planet Arrakis captivate you. This is a film that not only entertains but also leaves a lasting impression, solidifying its place as a landmark in science fiction cinema. Thanks for tuning in to Flicks from the Multiverse Literature. 
comics, movies, facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more epic reviews. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the multiverse.